What's up everyone, it's Wildest and I want to do to show you some highlights as I talk about this issue. I don't know if it, you would even call it an issue, but is scripting on FIFA 12 real? Now, against all, all, all odds, I want to believe that it doesn't exist because there's no reason why any game, online or offline, should have a predetermined outcome before you start it. Now, having said that, loads of FIFA players and loads of uh, just people who watch FIFA or whatever uh, have are having thoughts of whether they're scripting. And this might be an old topic or not. I don't really mind, but it's something that I really don't want to see or even be hinted at in FIFA 13. Um, now, there's times where you can be playing a game and okay, you play, take for example Ultimate Team. You play the tournament. There's four or five games in the tournament. You play the first game, you have a really tight game against the person who's pretty much on your level. You both have chances, you both score goals, and you manage to nick it near the end because of some good play by you. Not particularly a mistake by him or anything like that. And the game seems pretty even. Um, you then go on to the next round and you play a guy, and let's say your team then behaves much worse, uh, no, let's say your team performs much better, and you dominate this player who's got an equally good team as you, and they must have some skill because they're in the same round as you, but you dominate them crazily, you beat him 3-0, 4-0, everything goes your way. Now, I'm not talking about the ball bubbles to you, I'm not talking about the goalkeeper makes a mistake, and you luckily score a tap in or something like that, or person makes a mistake. I'm talking about everything. You own possession, passing, shots, shots on target, um, you, your goalkeeper saves a lot of shots, like loads, um, and everything you hit just flies in. Now, it might be one of the things where we don't notice it when we're doing, when it's happening and we're benefiting from it, because when I'm winning and I'm cruising, I don't really think of anything other than how sick I am. But, for all I know, the per opposite person, the person I'm playing, must feel like the whole world is against them and they just can't do anything. And then, you play the next game, and then it's whatever, you know, you don't really notice it, you win slightly, and then you get to the final. And you play someone who has an equal team as you, or weaker, or maybe even a better, it doesn't even matter. And the entire game. Bear in mind, after eight each game, you make sure you replenish your players' morale and fitness. And you haven't changed the way you're playing, you're just doing a similar thing. All things equal from all the previous games, and this player just completely dominates you. He gets possession, he's passing... No, in fact, his passing and possession doesn't even have to be better. I shouldn't have used that example, but... The players, on, in one-on-one -on -one situations, his ones dominate you in every way, shape, and form. Every way, shape, and form. And then you lose that final, 4-0. And you think, how the hell, how in the bloody hell did I even manage to lose by 4 goals to nil? If I was just destroying it on the way to the final. And just, you know, trying your best. In the game, you were trying your best. And then when you realize that, okay, everything's going against you, you make a conscious effort. I'm going to make sure I don't concede, I'm going to make sure I win the ball, here, here and here. Not to say your opponent isn't, but in situations where you think you're on top and you still don't get the ball, that's where I think something's dodgy. However, uh, one of my friends said this, and it might, it could literally just be a case of uh, connectivity, you know, who's the host, or who's got the better connection, or who's got the worst connection, it might be dragging the whole game down. And this could obviously be something, because, you know, we do live in a technology, technology era, er, era, and anything could be influencing how the game plays, not just this this theory that it could be scripted. So, my, my, I'm wondering whether this has been a problem in other FIFAs, where, because I don't generally remember thinking or feeling like I'm disadvantaged by a clear margin or that the game's against me, but in FIFA 12, a lot of people just feel like that. And it's really not good. I mean, no one really wants to have that in the back of their mind thinking, hey, wait a minute, did I really deserve that game? Or, hey, wait a minute, 
Did that person even deserve to beat me? You want it to be a real test, a real challenge, and that's all we can really hope for in a game of FIFA like this. In a game, in a game like this. I mean, shit. Fuck. You need rewarding for what you do well, and you need to actually get what you deserve. Now, after this video, there should be no more talk of scripting from me. And then when FIFA 13 comes out, there should be no more talk of scripting ever again. Because they should know how we feel and address how the game shifts drastically in different people's favour. Um, obviously, I'm still talking about scripting now, but in in head-to-head -head seasons, I don't really feel like there's scripting. I don't know. I mean, there's times where my players are incredibly sluggish and the game moves slow and everything just feels different, but... That just seems to me like it's normal because the other person, other player, doesn't necessarily have ridiculous like, attributes or get any better. It's literally just the whole game just feels different. So no, nah, I haven't really experienced any, any scripting feelings in in um, head to head seasons. I don't know about anyone else. Let me know if you have. But you know. The game get, gets better every year, and every year they do make mistakes, and I hope it gets better. I'm pretty sure there's no scripting in um, kickoff mode, but yeah, I'm, I'm almost certain because I've played so much kickoff mode, the the exhibition games, especially when FIFA 13, FIFA 12, sorry, <laughs> first came out, and games are quite balanced and quite often reflective of a previous game or a game a day or two ago or a week ago, blah blah, all that stuff. So people people whose levels or whatever their level was stayed like that. There was no fluctuating or anything like that. Um so yeah. It just needs to all stay stay good. And everyone needs to just enjoy the game. Uh we, we need to find fault in what is actually wrong with the game and just allow the stuff that are natural because there's a lot of people who consider uh, the effects of scripting like mistakes by players or a player not marking someone properly but let's be honest people is not get people is not perfect and in fact if FIFA was a perfect football game then the game wouldn't it wouldn't be right because the same thing that we get disadvantaged from at times we, we profit from there's no way I would like to play a game of FIFA where there's no like there's no flex at all so everything's set and there's no differences for example a player won't ever misjudge a header but in truth for FIFA to be an accurate realistic game it needs to have mistakes in it and I've said that to one of my subscribers before and you know it's something which more people should conform to I think but if you want to play an arcade game that doesn't have any mistakes and it's just football you know go play football or something I don't know play a game like that but yeah it's been me wildest I hope you've enjoyed this video I don't know if, you, I don't know if you've been paying attention to the gameplay I've, I had but you know it was a good gameplay as well and comment, let me know what you think about this shipping thing, and obviously if you're looking forward to FIFA 13. Good luck, and peace.